So today I'm gonna be doing my 200 sub special. Thank you guys so much. I cannot believe we've gotten to 200. Like overnight for me, like overnight. I just, it like suddenly from 193, it got to 200 and then today it's gotten eight so far. So um, Canela is like, um, yeah, she's over there somewhere and my dog might run through the camera at some point because she likes to run around. I don't know where she is right now, but, um, yeah, Canela's over there. So, um, I started riding when we moved here. Like, I think I rode, like, one horse, like, at a fair or something when I was really young, back where we used to live. But when we moved here to Puerto Rico, um, I don't know if it was, like, the same year or a year after, but we started taking lessons at this super, this, this instructor. He's, like, the best, like, um, he's super awesome, but that's where I learned how to ride, and then for a couple summers, I went to Lang's Horse and Pony Farm, um, lessons, and, uh, that's where I learned how to canter, and, um, this is not in Puerto Rico, this is in, like, Washington State, um, but anyway, that, because we would always go there in the summer, and so, um, basically, um, I just really liked riding, like, super always wanted a horse, so I would I did lessons and all that stuff. And then I was like, hey, I want a horse. So I would always ask for a horse. And my mom and dad were like, you, we don't have any land. Like this, this is our yard. Canelle's just in, I'm keeping an eye on her so she doesn't eat my dad's plants. But um, just like to let her be eating some grass with me, letting her eat, eat grass and wish she would come over here so she could be in the video, but she's being grumpy today, so I'm just gonna leave her alone. Um, so then we're like, my dad was like, there, I saw this horse online for only $250, so we'll go check it out. And my mom was like, yeah, no, okay, it's too cheap. Like, it's, it's not gonna be a good horse. It's not gonna be trained. We need a trained horse. Like, it's our first horse. You know how bad it is when someone gets a horse, like, new people get a horse when they don't know how to train it and then it's bad so then we went and checked it out she was super awesome me and my brother both rode her around she was super good so then we got my my instructor um he has a trailer so he brought our canola home and so yeah then we got canola um so then we were riding canola in our back fields she was really good nice and calm um please excuse my bike helmet um, but yeah. But then Canela got like really bad. Okay, my dog just walked right in front of the camera. Um, yeah. So then Canela got really bad. Like, I think it was like grain aggressive. I don't really know, but she just got super bad. Like, I couldn't even walk her. She just snorted. Like, I couldn't even walk her by myself. Sorry, excuse the music. Um, it's Sunday in Puerto Rico. Um, so basically. Um, I just, like, couldn't. I couldn't walk her. She, she bucked me off. She bucked my mom off. She would rear every time I was riding her. Like, she would spook really bad over nothing. Like, so then we got my, um, old, um, instructor back. And he, um, taught us how to lunge canela. And, like, we worked with her. Got her better again. And so then she was really good. And we started riding again. It took me a while to get my confidence back. Like, I didn't ride her even after she was good for a little bit. I was, like, really scared. But eventually I got my conus back and we started riding again. We did a lot of um, running and galloping and stuff around this, like, it's like a big rectangle where they use it for hay, but they have, like, there's, like, paths around it. Then we started jumping. I didn't know how to jump because I didn't have, like, lessons anymore or lessons for jumping. But me and Canela managed to get better and better. And she really hated jumping at first, but then she got, like, better at it. Um, now she really loves it. So, yeah, she was really good at jumping. Then we started doing this course, and it was really hard. Like, I didn't know until, like, I just normally jumped, like, and, and like, with a couple jumps without, like, it being so, like, tight. But, yeah. Then we started um, riding with, like, just a halter. Not jumping or anything, but just, like... I've always wanted to just ride with nothing, but I can't yet. Um, so, yeah. Then we started jumping some more, and 
like after we had taken a break, but she did really good. Then we started riding her at the beach. Sorry for the music going. Um, she really hated the beach at first. And then we took her swimming at the beach a couple times and she like at first wouldn't go in and she hated it. But then I had to stop riding because of, well, that. So then I started riding at um, this place called Espina Equestrian that I really like. It's super cool there and they teach show jumping. Jump, like jumping on the horses there it is so yeah I kept I've, I'm still riding there actually um, I just had a lesson but um, so I ride there two days a week um, on Monday and a Friday and so yeah that's I've been riding there a lot so yeah but for Canella the plan is to just see y'all next time bye um, after she has her full start riding her again jumping you know, just working together, maybe some Liberty work, probably Liberty work, because I really like Liberty work. And for Canelo's full, um, I'm just gonna train it. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna keep it for, yeah, we're gonna keep it. Guys, it's a little shady. I'm with Canelo now. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my 200 sub special. Thank you guys so much again. I really appreciate it, and I can't believe that we got this many subscribers. So yeah, um, that's my riding story. I'm um, sorry, there's a lot of noise going on, but yeah. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.